So it's a massive game week in store. I've played my wild card. Let's see how we do. Mate, why do you take fantasy football so seriously? If you don't know the answer to that, I'm out of here. But first of all, I wanted to just show off a few of the teams that I've been sent on Twitter. So at Joe Ryan 365 if you want to get involved. And so first of all, I wanted to highlight my mate Nevi's team. Now this guy is a football legend. He literally taught me everything I know about playing the game. So I think his opinion counts for a lot. So just looking at his team, he's got Ivanovic, maybe that's a bit dodgy. And he's going for captain pick Aguero. So yeah, hard to argue with that. This guy knows what he's talking about. Maybe his ranking in Fantasy League doesn't show that just yet, but trust me. And next we have Mohamed, who tweeted his team. Uh, so he's gone for a bit of a different tactic in terms of the captaincy. I think it's maybe a similar theme with a lot of people looking at City this week. Obviously at home against Watford, so Yaya Toure is going to be the man for Mohamed. And now taking a look at Hayden's team. So again, thanks a lot for tweeting me this. Um, Aguero captain, yep, solid choice. I mean, I can't really fault that. Maybe it's a, kind of the common theme uh, in these fantasy teams for this week. Obviously, you've got the two Stoke boys in there as well. Shakira, Shakiri, and Juf as well. So, yeah, pretty strong. Is United's clean sheet run going to continue this week? I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you think it will. Also, thanks Kieran sending in his team. Again, Aguero captain. Um, so, yeah, comment below if you've got Aguero captain uh, or if you haven't got him and why and who you have got instead. Um, I'll be showing you my captain in a sec. And finally, for now, I'm just going to look at Scott Stevo's team. He's gone for a different choice of captain again. If he carries on his run of scoring goals and getting clean sheets, then that's a very good combo to have in this game. So, yeah, looks strong to me. And now let's have a look at my team. So, yeah, similar themes, I guess, loading up on Man City players. So I've brought in Kolarov instead of company. He played well last game. He scored a lot of points. But the way he's been playing and bombing on forward, he's always going to be in the mix when City are attacking. So that's why I put him in over company. Our target for Southampton is kind of, I've kind of had to sacrifice really the top defenders because of who I've got up front. But targets in a kind of a cheap option and hopefully Southampton are a bit tighter at the back against Norwich. Mares, I mean, sooner or later you have to have him, I think, in your fantasy team. If he carries on the way he's going, then he is turning into an essential buy. Now, Yaya Torre, I've gone for as well. I think he's coming back to his best. Um, after the goals he scored against West Brom, you know, he's got it in his locker to score some great goals. Pedro started off absolutely on fire. Uh, admittedly, it was against West Brom. So, yeah, we'll see if he can carry that on. I think he's got a nice fixture there against Palace at home. Yanazai is probably maybe the weak link in my team at the moment. But uh, after watching Man United, they need to come up with something so I think he's going to be the one that actually creates something for United if he plays and then the front three I think they speak for themselves right uh, Benteke, Aguero, Costa they've all got home fixtures this week they're all capable of scoring a lot of goals Costa my captain this week now, I did tweet one reason for why I'm bringing him in and why I'm going to make him the captain this week I mean if his hamstrings can stay strong then yeah, he's got the potential to score a lot of points this week, I think. Uh, especially when he's got getting the service from Pedro. So that combo works quite nicely for me. Uh, maybe if Rooney actually lives up to the hype of his Champions League hat-trick against uh, Club Bruges, then maybe he comes back in. With this team, I can live with, uh, without Rooney for a week. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Comment below and tell me how you think this lineup looks. Uh, if you see any room for improvement. Now, if you want to know about this shirt, now, hopefully a lot of people will understand the reference. But if you don't get it, just go to oswreview.com and check out some of their video podcasts. I highly recommend it. It's totally not fantasy football related. And maybe some people will be like, what are you talking about? But I like it. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Jay and the boys or the bras that, yeah, keep up the good work, lads.